So last night, uh, something happened that got me so fired up that there was no possible way I couldn't share it with you. Um, I watched The Big Short, which if you haven't seen it or uh, haven't heard about it, it is about the collapse of the housing market in 2008 and specifically what led to that in detail and those who were aware of what was going on. Um, and as you may have noticed on this show, while I do bring up um, issues that I feel are important, I don't get particularly political. And my aim right now is not to get political. But when I think about what this show is really about, I think it's about questions. I think it's about continuing to ask ourselves the really important questions about ourselves, about others, about the world around us, so that we can operate with more awareness all around, right? And I think that our climate as, and not, I don't mean the environment climate, although that too, um, but our political climate, our social climate, our economic climate in America has gotten to a place that is, oh my God, I'm getting emotional about this, is frankly, completely unacceptable. <laughs> it is completely unacceptable. I think what this comes down to is that we sit there and we get fired up about things. We get fired up about the 6 million people who lost their homes, the 8 million people who lost their jobs in 2008. We get fired up about the criminality that happened on Wall Street and about the lack of response from the government. I mean, one person went to jail over that entire thing when so many people were acting illegally, were making decisions with other people's money that were illegal and completely immoral and one person went to jail. We get fired up about that and we put our opinions on Twitter and on Facebook and we concentrate on it for a day, a week, maybe a couple weeks and then it's gone. And I'm as guilty of this as anyone. So I think a lot of us not only struggle with our attention span with this, but we willingly give over our authority to those who say that they know better, to those at the head of financial institutions who work for financial institutions who make us think that they understand that terminology and they should just, we should let them just be in charge of that. And we hand over our power to the government, to our officials who say, oh no, I understand these, policy, these policies more than you. I understand the law more than you. You should trust me. And they have an authoritative voice and we allow that. And then we go back to our screens and to our daily lives and we forget about it. And nothing changes. So I just wanted to say that in the spirit of this show and of everything that we've started to create together and the dialogue that you and I have, we need to keep questioning this. We need to question the policies that are in place. We need to question the lobbies and the kind of money that they are giving to political campaigns. We need to question Wall Street and we need to regulate and we need to support groups that are trying to create that regulation. I've included a couple links below um, for groups that have done a really good job with working with Congress people, including Elizabeth Warren and actually recently Hillary Clinton, to enact some change along these, these lines so that we don't just feel powerless. So feel free to investigate that. But always, always, always keep questioning. And if something feels wrong in your gut, it probably is, and do not rest until you figure out why. Thank you.